Now this is page Q17 in the ANSI series, okay, of the same textbook. We're looking at more test and exam questions. All right, so this question, a boy runs 200 meters in 30 seconds, then he jogs a further 300 meters, which takes him 90 seconds. He stops, rests for three minutes, after which he walks one kilometer in 10 minutes. This question asks you to calculate the average speed. Now, what do we do with all this information? Well, you know, average speed is total distance divided by time. So the first thing we do is we put a formula. So we know that the average speed is its total distance divided by the time taken, total time. All right, we know he runs 200 meters, all right, in 30 seconds. We also know he jogs and further 300 meters, all right, in 90 seconds. All right, let's keep meters here meters here. Awesome. He stops. Zero. He rests for three minutes. 180 seconds. After which he walks one kilometer, which is a thousand meters, in 10 minutes. So 10 minutes, 60 seconds in a minute, 600 seconds. All right. Let's put that all into our formula. We have what we need. Total distance would be 200 meters plus the 300 meters plus the rest, zero meters, plus 1,000 meters. Okay, all over. Okay, the 30 seconds, notice I'm putting the time underneath the distances. 90 seconds plus 180 seconds plus 600 seconds. And therefore, his average speed should equal 1,67 meters per second. All right, that's his average speed of the total distance, out of the total time taken to travel, all right, this distance. Okay, that's the speed at which he was going. Perfect. There's your marks. Good job. Now, 6.2, a total different question. This question now is in kilometers per hour. Okay, so a car travels at 40 kilometers per hour for half an hour, then at 60 kilometers per hour for the next hour, and then at 90 kilometers per hour for another half an hour. Calculate the total or the average speed of the car for two hours. Hmm, okay. So we see everything here in the question is in kilometers per hour. Okay, now why would we want to convert to meters per second if we can just keep everything in kilometers per hour? All right, makes life a little bit more easier for ourselves. Okay, since the question is in kilometers per hour, every single variable. Okay, so we're working in kilometers per hour for this question. Okay, so. He travels 40 kilometers per hour in, uh, for half an hour. Now it's important, we're going to draw a formula timetable. All right? I'm sure you've seen one of these before. So on the top we have D, over here we have V, over here we have delta T. Okay, so V for average speed, D for distance, and delta T for time. Okay. So, total distance. The total distance. First, we have to calculate the total distance. All right, for D. And the way we get D is V times delta T. So, total distance equals to V multiplied by the first time that he takes plus the second velocity. All right, that was V1, this is V2, all right, times delta T2. All right, that equals to, remember, 40 kilometers per hour, the first one, and a half an hour. There we go, that's our first one. Plus 60 kilometers per hour for the next hour, times by one. 
plus, right? Then 90 kilometers per hour for the next half an hour. So 90 times by 0 0.5. Okay. Then let's equate that. I would get an answer of 20 plus uh, 60 plus 45. And our total distance is equal to 125 kilometers. Okay, we've kept everything in kilometers here for this question. Sub it into our, our formula. All right, d over t. We get an answer. We get equal to 125 kilometers over our two hours, and that equals to an answer of 62 comma five kilometers per hour. All right, and that's our answer. Kept it in kilometers per hour because it made life a little easier for us. All right, this is not wrong to do so. All right, to keep it in kilometers per hour. If you want to convert to meters per second, all right, you may do so. However, if you have your time in seconds, then it is important that you convert your uh, distances to meters because remember, if your time is in seconds, your uh, velocity or your speed will be measured in meters per second. But if your time is in hours and your distance are in kilometers, distances are in kilometers, keep it that way. All right, it makes life a little simpler for yourself. All right, and you get a and you yield a good, well-rounded answer of 62.5 kilometers per hour. And so we have answered the questions. All right, and we've done examples on average speed and average of velocity. Hope you understand it a little bit better. Stay tuned for more episodes on other topics in mechanics.